Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. I uh, just wanted to make a quick little video uh, showing you how to fix uh, an issue that a lot of you have been experiencing with the latest version of Kali Linux, more specifically with uh, Metasploit uh, version 5, which is currently in beta. And uh, one of the issues was actually highlighted uh, or came to, to be uh, during the previous video where I covered Kyoptrix 2014 and we were using a payload, uh, we were using a, a, um, a module that required a payload um, that wasn't working and we weren't able to, uh, most of you weren't able to get a shell or weren't uh, able to get the exploit to run. Um, so I'll just show this to you and I'm going to be using the same environment as in the previous video when we were talking about the Kyoptrix 2014 box. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just start up my console and uh, just to point out, I'm just going to clarify a few things here. If I list out my, um, my IP address here, um, you can see that my IP for the Kali VM is 192.168.1.190. Um, let me just perform a quick nmap scan just to display something 1.1 forward slash 24. Um, the IP address for the... Um, Kyoptrix 2014 box is 192.168.1.159. So I just want you to keep that in mind. Um, right, so the exploit that we were using um, was the PHP tax exploit, right? So if I search for that, so PHP tax, um, so search PHP tax, this is the exploit here. It is a, um, it's primarily, it's based on multiple platforms. It can work on multiple platforms, but in our case, uh, we know that the target is running free BSD, which then, uh, which that, which, which actually means that our reverse shell or any shell that we get back, uh, re, uh needs to be a Unix based shell. So, uh, if we use this payload and I clear that out now, let me just show the options here. You can see that, uh, we can set out the options, uh, like our host, which is the target and the R port, which in this case is going to be port 8080. And uh, that's fine, and the target URI is also fine as well. But one of the issues with the, the latest version of Metasploit is the fact that it does not automatically select the payload that's going to be used, which really can be seen as an issue or not really an issue. But I just wanted to clarify that. So for example, I will set the R host here. So R hosts, I'll set 192.168.1.159, which is the target IP. Uh, set the R port here to 8080. And then uh, we, if I run it, you'll see it'll tell me exploit failed and exploitation uh, error occurred. And that's not really helpful information, primarily because one doesn't know where to start, but the issue is fairly simple. If I list out the options after running an, an exploit, it should give me the payload that we're using, that we're actually sending with the exploit, that gives us the reverse shell. So we need to set the payload manually. So we can use, we can say set payload, and we can use the tab auto completion uh, feature to actually give us the recommended architecture for the shell. And if we just say CMD Unix, we are looking for CMD Unix reverse, right? So we're going to say reverse. Um, we'll say reverse like so. And that's going to work just fine, primarily because I don't think we have Perl uh, or we have Python installed on the target. So again, you can test and try it uh, depending on the type of module you're using. So if I just hit set payload uh, CMD Unix reverse, I hit show options. We now need to set the L host. So L host is going to be 192.168.1.190, which is the Kali IP. And when, when you hit run, you can see the exploit now runs successfully and we get the command shell. I can then list out stuff here. So new name arm, we can see we're running BSD version 9. So that was uh, fairly simple uh, to actually fix. A lot of you have been sending me comments on that video regarding how to sort out the issue. So again, uh, just, uh, just specify the payload. And this is affecting many other uh, more modules uh, within the Metasploit framework. Uh, yeah, so again, let me know if you guys are still facing the issue and hopefully I'll try and re uh, make videos covering them. Uh, but that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video and I'll be seeing you in the next video.